it's me. Quick video I thought I'd make for you to tell you a bit about a fundraising event that I'm going to be doing. I have decided that I am going to continue making you videos since um, my surgery is pretty much sorted now. I am going to um, bring you some scar treatments and how they work. Um, tell you a bit more about tuberous sclerosis, but um, I'm going to also keep you updated on fundraising events that I'm going to be doing. Um, the next one is going to be in October and I have decided to take part in the Macmillan Brave the Shave event. Um, I've decided to do it on the 26th of October which is the third anniversary of my mum losing her fight to ca um, with cancer. So it's going to be a very poignant date. I am absolutely terrified of the idea of sharing my, shaving my hair, hair off. But I thought that was a really good event for me to do because there's only so many events uh, that I can do with having had... Um, my clavicle amputated, I wouldn't be able to be insured to bungee jump and other things like that. So I thought, what would terrify me? And I thought I could hold a snake or a spider, but that wouldn't scare me. Uh, but the thought of having my hair shaved off, that is freaking me out slightly. But I decided to do it because A, my mum lost her battle with cancer three years ago. Um, the uh, Brave the Shave event is going on and will actually be in August, but I'm I'm uh, going to do mine in October because um, of how poignant the date is. I also am trying to raise a £1,000, which I'm going to split 75% to Macmillan and 25% to the Tuberous Sclerosis Association. And... I have decided that I'm going to do a series of events to, um, you know, a series of events and challenges that can really try and test me and, and uh, you know, test how, at what point I, <laughs> I, can, I will freak out. But um, the reason I, the main reason I decided to shave my hair is when my mum started chemotherapy, her hair started to fall out. And on the day she uh, went to see um, the people who were supplying her wig, um, everyone was really sombre, everyone was really down. Uh, she, had a head, she had her head shaved at that point because she did not want to have her hair fall out in dribs and drabs. And everyone was so down and she made, even though she was in so much pain and she was so poorly, she made everyone laugh. And she said, look, I don't want you to be down. I don't want you to be sad. I want you to laugh. And I remember she tried one wig on and my mum wore glasses and she tried this brown bob on. Well, she looked like Thelma from Scooby-Doo and that was it. We were all laughing. Um, yeah, it was, it was so funny, but it was so difficult at first and she made us all laugh and she made us uh, you know that got over this kind of everyone was so solemn and so sad and I know mum's hair to her because she had waist length hair and when she found out she had cancer she cut that off and I know it was so difficult for her to lose her hair and so I thought well it's something I can do you know I'm gonna be I'm 35 now I probably wouldn't want to shave my hair after the age of 40 I'm not thinking I'm gonna look great with a bald head anyway I am I am terrified of this but um, I thought I can do this and I can raise some money so um, if you would like to um, follow the story of the head shave I will post I promised I know it's a, a, a few months off but I promise I will take a video and I will post it to YouTube but if you want to subscribe then you can do the button is up there somewhere 
Um, and if you'd like to donate, which would be wonderful if you do, down here you will find the link to the Virgin Money page. So, uh, yeah. The other thing is if uh, you would like to like um, like this video and if you want to get in, uh, get in touch with me you can do my email address is down here also if you'd like to in the comments put anything that you would like to see me do remember I have had some quite drastic surgery but if you'd like to see me do some sort of uh, fundraiser or event to raise money um, I swim, so swimming's no problem, but uh, I can't walk particularly far or cycle, so um, it may have to be crazy rather than um, particularly energetic. Uh, but yeah, um, things I'd like to hear about is what fundraisers you'd like to, me to, to see me do, and also when my hair grows back, um, when it's like really short and spiky, what colour you'd like me to dye it uh, because I think I'm going to go a bit crazy when it's really short and dye it some crazy colours so yeah, let me know what colour you would like to see me dye my hair alright then, I'm going to go I've been travelling all day I've uh, been 12 hours on a National Express bus so I'm going to bed so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon